Well, I think as a player you always like it to go the other way. Like uh, against Robredo, for instance, you have a close beginning and then you sort of start dominating instead of the other way around just because, um, you know, spectators kind of, you know, get a little bit quiet when one guy starts dominating in the beginning and they actually get excited when it gets closer, you know, and that then can make it difficult to play by going through, let's say, two hours of, let's say, calm conditions, and all of a sudden the crowd gets goes crazy, and, you know, you haven't had that for the entire match, and he takes it as a positive sign for himself, and you know, well, let's try to close him out. So it's a, it's a difficult thing to go through, and it doesn't happen very often, and especially, I think, night session here, people really get into it, and it made it difficult, but... Uh, from my side, I think I played a, a great match. Uh, I had uh, Dream Tennis there for a while in the beginning. I was able to dominate him like I've never done that before against him. Um, and then, you know, he started to get better, started to serve better, and he got, you know, he got better, uh, sort of more confidence from the baseline, and it was hard then to, to, to stay with him. But uh, um, I'm, I'm very happy to have still come through because it was close. Do you think you never there are, I was gonna say, just to follow up, do you think in a way, though, I mean, obviously you would have liked to have it had continued the way the first two sets went, but do you think mm. the way there are dividends when you're facing what's likely to be a, sh a tough match against Novak, to, to have been able to, to go in there and have a guy pound at you and you know, sustain that and come through? I mean, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, we'll see how it goes against Djokovic, I guess. Uh, that will we'll really answer the question, but at the same time, Djokovic plays very different to Sodling, you know. Sodling plays different to Robredo, and Robredo plays different to Hewitt. It's just uh, every match is different. Conditions today, I thought, were very difficult. It was very breezy down on the court, and I was quite worried going into the match, uh, seeing how much wind there was on the court, that I was actually going to hit a good ball, and all of a sudden, I'm um, six love, one love up, and I don't know what happened, you know. But uh, it's sometimes one of those days where everything kind of goes right for you, but... Uh, it was gr it was good that I you know maybe had a bit of a test but it's not something I'm really looking for I, I hoped I could close him out in three I should have but uh, um, in the end I'm I'm lucky to be three and four. Roger, your your serve was never broken. You hit 28 aces. I think you were pretty consistent anyway. Yeah, I mean I was playing great. You know, there's not much more I could do. I mean, I guess I could have taking maybe the first break point opportunity I had in the beginning of the third, and I should bring it home being up four love in the break in the third. Those are the the missed chances I had, and you see how quickly tennis can can you know change around if you don't take those. I think he did well to hang in there because it wasn't easy, you know, after what he had to go through in the first two sets. So I have to give him a lot of credit for hanging in there and playing so well in the end. Well, it was getting really close in the end. Did you feel like the match could go to a six? Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, I, I was serving twice against the set at 5-4 down and 6-5 down. And uh, in a tiebreaker, I wasn't uh, leading either, I think, a whole lot. So um, I had to come up with some good serving um, to go ahead a couple of times. And he right away answered himself as well. So sure, you're ready to go five, but it wasn't a very long uh, match yet. So I knew it wasn't going to come down to uh, fitness, but more to who's going to play better. But it would have been hard because he would have had momentum on his side. Um, not having been broken and being in the fifth set is a tough thing to, to go through. So um, I'm happy I was still able to come through. How hard was it to get the ball away from his forehand the last set and a half of the match? It seemed like he was trying to get a forehand in time. He couldn't hit the ball, basically. Yeah, well, I mean, I tried to actually go into his forehand sometimes because he has tendency to spray it there a little bit at times. But unfortunately, he didn't do that anymore towards the end. But uh, I just think he, you know, he just started to feel much better and uh, he had nothing to lose anymore at the end. So obviously that kind of sometimes makes it a bit more easy to play. Um, but whereas maybe in the beginning I was uh, making great shots at 30 all, 15 30, he was coming up with those shots, and that's why I couldn't make the difference, um, you know, in the third and fourth set. But uh, you know, I think his backhand is the more solid shot, and he can redirect the ball very well. But uh, I think also in his forehand he has the same capabilities, but just there he's sometimes has a tendency to to hit a bit few more unforced errors. Well, I mean, uh, I was playing great, you know. There was no reason to panic, really, because um, I was, I think, making, you know, great progress in the match and uh, offering myself many opportunities, you know. And uh, I just knew I had to hang tough and, you know, keep pushing him, that he had to come up with great shots over and over again and try to break him that way. But uh, it wasn't happening, so I was ready to go five. But, um, you know, mentally I was 
feeling great. I thought I was moving excellent as well, and I, I came up with some awesome shots. And uh, I couldn't ask for more, really. So I was just trying to to stay calm because um, you know we went through, like what I explained before, through through completely different phases. You know, whereas in the beginning it was really quiet. People wanted him to come back in the match, and then all of a sudden it gets super exciting. So it was it was a tough tough match to get through.